Clary's wanted what every parent wants for their child, a safe, comfortable place where their daughter could learn and grow. In 1985, the Clary's were looking at colleges with Jean. They eventually settled on Lehigh University in scenic Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. She just loved the campus and I just loved the fact that it was one hour and 20 minutes away. She was excited. Oh, she was. She was in the safest place she possibly could have been in. On a Saturday night in April of 1986, nobody saw the harm in propping open the door here at Jean's residence hall. After all, it made coming and going much easier. But then the unimaginable happened. As night turned to morning, another student came in through that prop door. But he wasn't coming home from a night out. He was looking for rooms to rob. Jean was asleep in her bed when he came in to her room. He did everything. He, um, he strangled her to death, but he also raped her. At that time, no laws required universities or colleges to track or disclose crimes that occurred on campus. There had been 38 violent crimes. It was not public knowledge. We didn't, nobody would know that. Nobody knew anything. But I knew I was going to have to do something to try to prevent other parents, other students of this eternal nightmare that never goes away, never goes away. And what they learned was that there really was nothing governing college campus safety. There was nothing to make us aware of crimes happening on or around college campuses. So Connie and her husband Howard worked tirelessly to convince Congress to pass the Gene Cleary Act. It's a federal law that requires campuses to track crimes committed on campus and share that information with the public to make campus communities safer. I didn't know if anyone had thoughts about like getting pictures, what we could do with that in the newsletter on the website. Allison Kiss heads the Cleary Center for Security on campus. The goal of it is to make parents, students, prospective students, prospective employees aware of crimes in or around campus and that you have policies and procedures around emergency notification and timely warning if there's a current or ongoing threat to the community. And that's where you come in. Campus security authorities, known as CSAs, serve a critical role in protecting your fellow students and the campus community in general.